There have been so many times that I've thought about giving up. However, you can't let your mind play those sorts of tricks on you. The body is capable of so much more than we could possibly imagine. The way I see it, you only have two options. You can keep going and your body might hurt for a week, or you can stop and your mind will hurt forever. For everybody who counted me out of the race, I, I just wanted to say thank you for not believing in me. My name is Jamie Price and I'm training to be a professional triathlete. Being a triathlete can really take a toll on both the mind and the body. You both have to endure mental and physical hardships throughout your training. I've sustained injury and I've endured hardship. There have been so many times that I've thought about giving up. However, you can't let your mind play those sorts of tricks on you. The body is capable of so much more than we could possibly imagine. I signed up for my first triathlon when I was 12 years old. Uh, I came out of the water in first place, um, thinking that this could be sort of something I'm really good at. Uh, I was promptly overtaken by everybody on the bike and um, came in dead last. Uh, I didn't do another triathlon until maybe I was 16 years old uh, in a completely different country. On your marks. Get set. When I came back to the UK, it was so clear that every athlete was just in a league above me. It took me about three years to get qualification status to even just race these guys. When it comes to training and everyday life, I have to hit between 18 and 20 hours of training every week. In order to achieve this, my nutrition has to be on point. If anything around my sport is missing, it, it can skew the whole training program. When I came back to the UK, I, I thought that I was entitled to, to win races just because of who I was. Uh, I very quickly found out that just wasn't the case. If you don't fall in love with the training process and really apply every fiber of your being to the to training, there's no way that you're ever gonna achieve results because there's always somebody out there who's training harder, is more talented, is more faster, is more dedicated towards the sport. So your job is to make sure that you're outworking them so that when you're standing on the same start line, you, you will put in a better performance because you left no stone unturned. I've really fallen in love with the sport and the training process and, and the fact that I can wake up every day and try and be better than I was the day before and improve myself is, is just truly a dream. It, it can be difficult at times, but without a shadow of a doubt, I'm not gonna stop until I'm fully satisfied I've reached my full potential.
season I generated a list of goals and I told myself if I didn't achieve every goal convincingly that I would take a step away from sport. Um, I achieved every goal and more which has led to me aiming for goals which I just never thought would be realistic. I'm, I'm now back on sort of a, a team that I'm excited to be on. Uh, I'm lining up professional races uh, as well as looking at having another season in France. A year ago I said one day, a day ago, I said day one. If you could say anything to the people who didn't believe in you before, what would it be? Can't stop me now.